Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned to solve the quadratic equation by completing the square method. Today, in this video, we will learn to solve the quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. We know that this is a general form of the quadratic equation. To solve this equation by completing the square method, first, we divide the equation by a to make the coefficient of x to the power 2 as 1. Then, to make a perfect square, we divide the coefficient of x and increase it to 2 powers. We will add and subtract the value obtained into the equation so that the equation is balanced. This is equation 2. On solving equation 2, we get b to the power of 2 minus 4ac upon 4a to the power of 2 on the right side. And by expressing the left side as the square of a binomial, we get this form of the equation. What do we need to solve this equation? We find the square root of the equation keeping in mind that in the right side of the equation we put a positive and negative sign. Because when we square 3 and negative 3, we get positive 9. But when we take the square root of 9, then positive and negative 3 are obtained. So on solving equation 3, we get this equation. Now keeping the variable x to the left, the constant term b over 2a move to the right side On simplifying this, we can see that we get x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, which is represented in equation 4. If b to the power of 2 minus 4ac is greater than and equal to 0, then this gives two real roots of the quadratic equation ax to the power of 2 plus bx plus c equals 0. And if b to the power of 2 minus 4ac is smaller than 0, then the real roots are not obtained. Therefore, to find the roots of any quadratic equation, we can use this formula which is called the quadratic formula. Can you tell which Indian mathematician had successfully tried to find the quadratic formula? The quadratic equation was solved by the mathematician Sridharacharya, which is called the quadratic formula or Sridharacharya formula. In this video, we learn to solve the quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. In the next video, we will see some examples related to it.